Hi Libra, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And please do check the description box below. There's a ton of information there, so please do go check that out. A lot of links and just general information, uh, personal readings, all kind of stuff there. So please do go check that out. And just before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very, very much appreciated. So thank you so much for all your support and your generosity. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Libra, second half of August. Let's see what's going on for you. Hope everybody's doing well. And if you're in summer right now or winter, whatever, one more month and then we transition into the next season. So this is a zodiac deck. So we may get a sign, element, or planet energy. So we'll see what we get here and how that affects your reading. And if you find you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. It's sort of just like a little extra bonus here so if you clicked on it there's probably something in here that you're meant to hear okay so we have Venus in this is a general reading but um, if you could fit it into a love situation that's fine but I'm gonna read it as a general reading but Venus is the planet of love and Venus is the planet of I believe it's Libra and I'm not sure the other sign um, I know definitely Libra. So, uh, I don't know, we'll see here. So we'll see new beginnings in love perhaps, or self-love, self-worth, some sort of new beginning that uh, you're just totally in love with. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how that plays out for you. All right, so with this deck here, and Libra, you're number seven. And Venus is 16, which equals 7. So 7 is a very divinely guided number. It's a very spiritual number. So you may be coming in line or becoming um, together in some, with something in some way, shape, or form that is meant for you, divinely guided for you, whether it is a new beginning in love or it's just something else that has you just in a very peaceful, compassionate, loving state. We'll see what is going on for you. All right, so let's get one card now for Libra. What is the message most needed? What is their energy like? Second half of August. Can you get it's way too many? One card for Libra, please. One card. This one wanted to jump, so I'm going to take that one. I don't know how to say that crystal, but spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So, you know, in Venus here about love, maybe this is just a new spiritual journey for you in some way, but you are protected spiritually um, by your ancestors, by your spirit team, your angel team. The divine here, because we got 7-7, seven, seven, is protecting you on whatever journey you're on right now that you're feeling very peaceful, you're feeling uh, just in tune, in touch, compassionate and a loving nature. But I think the universe is still watching you here and still protecting you for some reason. So I don't know, we'll see what's going on. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Tiger's eye, self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. So you could just be like in a new spiritual journey here. You know, of somewhat in some way, shape, or form. What's under that? So, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on for you, Libra, for the second half of August. What's going on with you? Are you going on a new spiritual journey? Maybe a new uh, spiritual journey of self love, compassion. I don't know. We'll see. You are definitely protected, though. I know that. So whatever journey you're on here. Okay. And self-confidence is, you know, to have that self-confidence, self-love within yourself also. 
All right. So let's see what's going on with Libra. Second half of August. Get some clarity, please, for Libra spirit, please, for Libra. Second half of August, please. All the decks are listed below also if you're interested in that. And they all have been pre-shuffled, cut, meditated on off camera. There is extra shuffling on camera, so please be patient with that. All right, what do we have? There we go, finally. The Magician. So, <clears throat> and the Magician is Gemini and Virgo. So this is manifesting a new beginning. So you have a new beginning here. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a new beginning in love, a new self journey, a new beginning in, in uh, spirituality and faith here. But whatever you're doing here, you're manifesting a new beginning. You have truth and clarity with the sword. You have passion with the wands. You have love and compassion with the cups. And usually there's a pentacle I guess this right here for stability, growth, expansion. So I don't know. So let's see what kind of new beginning are you manifesting here? Libra. See what other energy is around you. Temperance and death. Wow. All major arcana. Holy crap. Libra. So you have temperance here. Sagittarius. Death here is Scorpio. So you're balancing out your energies here with temperance. You're having patience healing energy balancing things out kind of energy death here though is the ending of something so you know when death comes it's not about someone's going to die it's about a certain situation circumstance relationship something here ending i think something's ending in your life that's really bringing you more balance and now you're manifesting a brand new beginning because once death comes something ends there's always a new beginning in some way there's some sort of transformation a rebirth you know regeneration um transformation and now you're having a new beginning and manifesting a new beginning out of this ending but feeling very balanced and having patience and healing energy as you go through this uh transformation hmm so let's see what your actual situation is now. So we have the King of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. Wow. Oh, so I feel like the King of Swords, that's air energy. This could be a male figure around you. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody who's very truthful, honest, open, and clear. Uh, who's very smart, analytical, uh, no-nonsense no type of person. Um, they stand their ground, they tell it like it is. Um, but you have the Eight of Cups here, so that's right in the middle of your spread. So, you know, that's walking away from something that's no longer fulfilling you. And then you have the Seven of Swords. So that's another energy of like, like kind of, hmm. There was some deceit around you in some way. Someone deceived you or you got tired of somebody's negative energy or lies, a manipulation here. I feel like you just kind of turned your back on that situation with the Eight of Cups and you walked away. They could have been an air sign. This King of Swords energy. Or this is you just standing up for yourself and your truth, having clarity of the situation and just, you know, can be male or female telling it like it is, cutting this person out, um, not taking any more BS with this person. It's either you or you cut some air sign out here because of the, of some sort of deceit, negative energy and decided to walk away from this, uh, person because of this negative energy. I mean, they could have stolen from you. They could have told you lies. They could have done anything. And now you just say, you know what? This relationship just is not worth it for me anymore. The Eight of Cups, you're always walking away from something no longer serving you. And because this is air, this is air. So however that is for you, um, could be an air sign or you just finally standing up to this person with that ear energy. 
And I think you're proud of yourself with the Venus energy. It's like all of a sudden you know yourself worth your value and you're like so and much in a peaceful um like strong place and you're spiritually protected also through this all right so let's see what your advice is libra in this situation so wow we have the ace of cups and we have the five of wands so this is conflict and competition with the five of wands but this is a brand new beginning in love so i think you know with the ace of cups here it can be a brand new beginning in love but it can be self-love it can be a spiritual journey it can be enlightenment uh like a whole brand new uh, beginning of enlightenment self-love self-worth um and that sort of energy so i feel like with the ace of cups here and it is a brand new beginning so I feel like here in your energy, you just have to follow your, your gut and your intuition and know your self-worth and value and your self-love and do what's best for you. And I feel like if this person caused nothing but conflict, I mean, you may love them dearly with the Ace of Cups here, but it's time to do what's best for you. And this is a brand new beginning. So it could be a brand new beginning out on your own from this person or whatever here so or if this is a love situation if you just come out of a situation here and maybe in that situation there was trickery and there was deceit you walked away and you walked maybe to an air sign and maybe you know your advice is to go in the direction of, of this new love it may cause conflict with others around you but it's something you're just gonna have to deal with so it could go go different ways here so you're either going I feel like into a new relationship or um, or it could be a new friendship or it could be I'm not getting any like career related stuff here it could just be a friendship or a new relationship leaving something ending something that was no longer serving you that was a lot of deceit negativity lies whatever here and now ending that situation and manifesting your new beginning you're so much more peaceful harmonious you have healing balancing energy again you could be getting some beginning something new with an air sign or a water sign or you ended ended something with an air sign whether it was a love relationship or a friendship because of conflict and now you're on this self-love journey out on your own spirituality and faith or you know however this works for you so let's see what your outcome is now so we have the tower okay so Aries energy here so yeah there's gonna be conflict uh, whatever journey you're going on here there's gonna be a breakdown of uh, maybe more relationships around you you know you have all this conflict whatever solo journey you're going on here or new relationship there is gonna be conflict you're gonna to have to deal with there's gonna to be tower moments other relationships that you are that you have around you may end may break down uh, or may just cause a lot of explosive conflict here but whatever it whatever way you're going it's divinely guided here with the ace of cups is something that's meant to be other people are just gonna have to deal with it and if they can't then oh well so let's get more clarity now so we have the five of swords again that energy of um, people just kind of getting out of a situation and they don't care how they do it they just kind of sneak out Kind of sneaky energy i just gotta get out i don't care how i do it when i do it where i do it or who i hurt or whatever i just gotta get out and get away uh kind of a selfish energy there could have been this air sign you were dealing with could have been anybody but uh maybe you just felt like you just had to get out of that situation you just snuck out uh and you didn't care how you did it so how that resonates for you so let's see five of pentacles so yeah wow Feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, lonely. So maybe this person made you feel this way or you just decided to just leave this person and abandon them because of and just had to get out and get away. Wow. Just had to get out, get away, leave, run out, whatever you had to do. You didn't care. Maybe you ran out in the middle of the night. I don't know. It's like I got to escape, get out from away from this person. Wow. Ten so. Oh, wow. Libra, what the heck's going on here? ending here 
painful, hurtful ending. It's just the end. No more. I can't take it anymore. Too much hurt and disappointment and backstabbing. Just done, done, done. It's a done, done deal. As with the death energy. Gone. It's done. It's over. Had to get away. Had to run out. Do whatever you had to do. Four of Pentacles. So, um... And the swords over here is air energy again. And we have the five of pentacles. Now the four of pentacles, earth energy, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So now, you know, holding on to everything that you have as you're getting out of the situation that you left, holding on to every little thing that was yours and just, you know, getting out of that situation, holding on to, trying to hold on to your sanity, your stability. Wow. Libra went through something major here seven of pentacles so again having that patience and you know maybe you had to wait a long time and try to really develop a plan here uh you know how do i get out of this and just kind of like patiently waiting for the right time to kind of like just get out wow libra ten of wands another ending here fire energy now total burden uh can't take it anymore just too many burdens done tens are always completions all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck the nine of swords wow libra air energy here's your air energy and the nine of ten ten we have the ten of swords now we have the nine of swords the ten of wands burn and stress anxiety wow i feel like you're just living in a life of like distress anxiety nervousness anxiousness can't sleep at night have maybe even having nightmares over this situation whether it you know whatever whatever it was here so knight of cups energy so this is moving forward i feel like you know moving on and now you have you know the skies have cleared you're able to you know go to a more calm peaceful place now you're able to go on and live life in a more calm peaceful harmonious compassionate way feeling more loving and nurturing towards yourself and people around you or this could be an offer of love coming in from somebody else could have been this air sign could be a water sign the hierophant so this could have been a marriage um we're talking about here that you had to escape from I feel a lot of negative energy around this. Uh, this was a marriage or a commitment or something here. A lot of ne heavy negative energy here. And the Hierophant speaks of commitment, marriage, doing what's moral and just and right, value, integrity, structure. It's also about learning, wise counsel, that sort of thing. Four of Swords, yeah. A lot of healing. You know, you moved on, but you had to do a lot of healing rest recuperation spending time alone thinking contemplating kind of energy that's your energy seven of cups may be feeling confused um where do i go from here what are my options a lot of confusion there with the water energy but now here you know making a judgment call maybe finally just deciding to forgive whatever happened in the past and just forgiving it and moving on and making that judgment call making final decisions of what you need to do Queen of Swords. So King of Queen of Swords here. So uh, matching couple. So this definitely could have been a marriage. Um, and again, you know, standing up with that knife, that sword, cutting this out, no longer serving you. Standing up for yourself, not taking in more BS, telling it like it is. Being very truthful and honest. Communication. So Six of Cups energy could have been someone you were married to for a very, very long time. Somebody you knew from childhood. No King of Pentacles. So this could be the new energy that came in for you. Um, you know, because you do have the Ace of Cups here. So whether or not you have a new beginning with somebody else, like I said, this just could be starting over a new beginning for you on your own, having self-value, worth, feeling at peace now, har you know, harmonious again, self-love, self-worth, being spiritually protected and feeling all that energy as you go on here. Yeah, because I feel like, you know, you got the Four of Cups under that. So if someone tried to come in and offer you something, you're like, nah, I'm not ready for that yet. And it looks like it's somebody that's stable and grounded with the King of Pentacles energy. But, um, 
I don't think you're quite ready for anything new yet. I think you're still healing. You're just now coming into your self-value, your self-worth, your self-love. Again, becoming whole again. Okay, Ace of Cups there. All right. Wow, Libra. All right. Whatever you did, I feel like was the best thing for you that you had to do. Because seven, seven is a very spiritual, divine number. So whatever you did, I feel like was your best choice. And it was probably divinely guided for you to do that. Even though maybe you felt it wasn't. It probably was. All right. So let's get some more guidance and advice for you for the second half of August. Second half of August. Libra. Some advice and guidance for you, Libra. What do we have for Libra for the second half of August? Guidance or advice for Libra spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh, we got two. So we have very soon. What you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. And we have imagine. What would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? So I think imagine here, I think you really had to think, develop a strategy, a plan. Imagine, you know, yourself becoming free out of the situation. And I think once you started to put that in motion and just followed it um, religiously, it happened very quickly and very soon. It happened very quickly for you and you were able to get out. And I feel like very much it happened in the nighttime. I don't know, maybe you just kind of snuck out in the middle of the night. I don't know, that's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like I want to see if there's one more. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's very heavy energy here, Libra, for you. Brothers and sisters, to get along with others, see the love and the best within them. So maybe, you know, maybe you had family members that helped you in this situation. And maybe you stayed with family for a while um, as you made this transition, ending the situation. Um, I don't know. And Libra is the card of justice. So whether or not this ended up in a divorce, it could have been. Um, I don't know. We didn't get um, we didn't get justice here, but let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Relax. Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all going to be fine. So now you can relax. Everything is fine now. Everything is fine. You did what was best for you. And then here we have decide. It's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. So I really think you had to imagine here and decide exactly what you needed to do and maybe it was like a different creative way that you uh had to get out <laughs> family over here again so i think you had family helping you um now everything's fine and it's just telling you to relax don't worry and if you're still in some sort of transition process just know everything is going to be fine and maybe when you left the situation here um, it did cause this big tower moment either with this person I'm probably thinking it did um, I'm, I'm thinking maybe if they're Aries this is Aries energy that's and the other Aries card is the Emperor somebody who's very controlling and um, domineering and has to be in charge all the time so if you were with an energy like that then I can imagine how explosive they were when they realized that you were gone so this may not resonate for everybody um I mean, if it's not a relationship, it could be a friend where you just kind of had to end it and cut them off. And I don't know. So anyway, uh, Libra, this did resonate for you. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do general and love bi-weekly, so please don't miss out on that. If this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below. For a playlist, uh, links to playlists for other Libra readings, I do consider them timeless, even though there are dates associated to them. So maybe there's something there that may resonate for you. So I'm sorry, Libra, if you went through this really hard time here. And I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and blessings and healing energy. Good luck to you. And as I always say with my channel, no matter what you do here, always try to shine your light.